Hello, I'm Brewer Blessett, Corteva Agronomy Manager for the Southeastern U.S. I'm William Johnson, Field Sales Agronomist for Pioneer. And we're here today to talk to you about R3 fungicide timing in soybeans. The exact timing of putting out a fungicide on high yielding soybeans is typically around the R3 growth stage. We normally go and evaluate that in 15 to 17 node soybeans. And when we start counting up from the bottom, we are looking for pods present of at least three eighths of an inch. And we want to get the timing as close to R3, but that is, it's better to be a little earlier than being later than the R3 growth stage. So with regard to timing, as William mentioned earlier, we look for beans to get somewhere in that 15 node range when we're um, really thinking about the timing of this application. And as you can see, this is a plant with all the leaflets still attached. I have taken one, stripped the petioles off. And so the timing again, about 15 nodes, we look for the first fully expanded trifoliate. I would consider that one. Go to the base, to the actual node it's connected to, count down one, two, three and four and as you can see right here there is a small node I mean a small pod at least three eighths inch, inches long and that would indicate we are at the R3 growth stage ideal time for application of a fungicide. It would be hard not to think of an investment like a fungicide that has as good a return on investment as a really good fungicide that we utilize in high yielding soybeans. In both in-house and university tests, we have found there's a two to five bushel yield increase when we apply the fungicide at the R3 growth stage. Again, in-house, we see about a 2.6 bushel advantage 83% of the time with that application. So Corteva AgriScience offers a tremendous um, fungicide offering for this type of application. Um, Approach Prima is a premix of a strobilurin as well as a triazole, so those being picoxistrobin and ciproconazole. A use rate of about five to 6.8 ounces per acre. Uh, this product gives us superior movement and faster um, uptake for um, to, to maintain the overall plant health, the amount of green tissue, uh, and, and maximize how long that tissue is green, as well as to, to stop, prevent, or slow disease progression. Um, we get somewhere in that up to 21 day prevention, depending on the weather, um, but we are very, very, very happy with the uh, overall performance of this product over, over years and across the Mid-South. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your business. And please reach out to any of the Corteva uh, That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.